Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and- whoops, I accidentally- okay, well, either way, uh, welcome back to RuneScape. I, um, so I was right the first time. I need to use this on this guy during combat, and I guess it will take a- ah, there we go. Did that work? There we go. I guess it was supposed to just take a few tries. There we go. Okay, so I was right the first time. I just had to look that up in between just in case. Um, the Dragon Mithril Key. Let me heal up again just in case. Alright, I'm all fully healed. We can go into this thing. Open the ancient door. What do we have in here? When you put your key in the depression, it fits sort of. However, any imperfections seem to be a minor issue as the door unlocks. You can hear it snarling through the door and plumes of foul-smelling smoke pour out just as you get closer. Sounds like a creature maybe just on the other side. I am ready. Maybe. We will see. Oh, Adam and Dragon. Is it shooting... Uh... All right, I'm probably gonna be able to take it out. Is it shooting arrows at me? Instead of fire? <laughs> oh, there's some fire. All right, I'm, I'm gonna be able to take this down, no problem. As long as I don't have to do too many of these uh, attacks here. Or as, as long as it doesn't attack me too many times with that. I can just... Why am I- why am I- I'm getting hit. I don't need to... I don't need to heal every time it attacks me. It's kind of attacking me with like every- every attack pattern. Yeah, I don't have to heal- I don't have to heal- okay, there I have to heal. There we go. I could have done this a little bit smarter, but it doesn't really matter. I can get rock tail pretty easily, so that's not a huge deal. It just takes time, and I... It's not a huge problem. How much does rock tail cost? Not even that much. I could buy it if I wanted to. But I don't. I, I just go get it from the cave. As the dragon dies, you hear raised voices in the next room. I'm not the one giving orders here, Dactyl. Toshak, my name is Toshak. You will address me with respect. Why, you have done nothing since we returned but scribble in your journal and issue orders like a tyrant on his throne. You are curse-addled. You cannot feel the power in me. You will owe me your allegiance. Enough of this, both of you. Stristath. Who do you think you are? I am the leader here. Sakurth, ever since you killed the false user, you have been just as power mad as, his, as this abomination. Calabath, unless your loyalty has been swayed, cage the dactyl. I will s deal with you in the traditional way, Sakurth. Yes, with pleasure. You think you can cage me? You owe me your lives. You owe me all. We owe you what we have given so many of you our kind. Vivisection, nothing more. Get it? Oh, damn. What? Calabat, impossible. How are you still standing? What, you think I don't know about your stash of protective charms? I took this from your chest while you were distracted. You, Dactyl, are the same. Too busy scribbling your worthless notes. So there's- there's multiple, like, casts of Dragonkin? I guess? Fool, there is nobody like me. Nobody! Ah, okay. What, are you afraid now? Come, where is your ne necrocyte bravery? But what is it? It's the curse. It is a, is a disease? What are you talking about? 
Look at yourself, freak. Ooh. This, this is nothing. Oh, freak, monster, abomination, vermin, cowards, all of you. Felax, one of the Dactyl's finest minds will repair my body. We will deal with this inconvenience, and when I return, you will bow before me or suffer. Oh, he is... Oh, that's... Oh. Should we chase him? Now let him crawl to some dark hole and die. Zakith, this is over. Send the mirror back to the vault. But... Do it. We're all too wounded to continue this plan. We will rest and then recall it. I'm going to retire to my chambers to think. You can lick your wounds there. Here. Don't disturb me or speak or take my char seek to take my charm. Neither of you can face me right now. Your loyalty is touching. I will see if I can con contact more of our order. Whatever else happens, they must know we dealt with that false user. What happened to Tarshak? Did he go to see this phalanx person? What happened to the mirror? Charm sounds useful item to have if I can get to deal with those monsters. I wonder if I can get it. Okay. Talk to Sackhearth. Pah, now we have this human to deal with. I'll kill you for what you did to V. Oh, damn. Ugh, my ribs. Why can't you just die already? Still alive? Gonna make you pay. It's not a great place for you. When my strength is recovered, I will crush you like the insect you are. Well, until then, you have to answer some of my questions. Is this some sort of joke? I owe you nothing, human, let alone answers. You know, the sooner I answer you answer my questions, the sooner I will leave. Bah, vile creature, very well. Tarry a while longer so that I can destroy you at my leisure. Um What happened to Tarshak? How should I know? Some sort of thing is better discussed with the dactyl. Matters not. It's gone skulking to the phalax. It will likely end up on a slab before too long. It's possible human energy of V tainted him in some way. Maybe draining the energy from the gods into yourselves is not a good idea. Silence! Once we have perfected the process, we will simply drain the energy into more dactyl and kill them before they mutate. False users will die. Lucian, Gothics, and V have fallen, and more will follow. With each death of our cursed lessons, soon we will bring our strength to bear, allied with our cunning and tactical acumen. And once we have crushed dactyl into submission, our numbers will be sufficient so we can shatter your gods. What is this place? This, this is a ruin. I believe it held some sentimental attachment for Tarshak. Such a weak fool. He always returned to the past when he felt threatened. I think we came here once looking for our aid in hunting the V user. I doubt he found any. And now our god dragon is dead when a human filth like you have arrived and we might as well abandon it once more. Where's the elder mirror? Back in the vault, useless trinket. Useless? Isn't it used to kill false users? Mirror. Ha, huh, ignorant beast. No, the mirror is one of the tools used by the Elder Gods to make the world. We simply used it as it was closest. The mirror was used to create the broad brush strokes on which creation could be laid down. When the gods needed a desert, they duplicated sand until it was full. When they needed rocks, they duplicated them and placed them where they wanted. Then how did you use it to kill V? When I slew Lucian and cursed lesson through Let Me Think Once More, I discovered a link between ourselves and the users. We are chained to the stone. The stone is touched by false users. This is how we are able to find them, and how we can draw the energy back. But the connection is weak. Individually, if the Dactyl had not split away from us, we would have used our numbers to claw power back from the usurpers. Without more dragonkin, our only chance was to use something else tied to the stone and the power of the Elder Gods. So we chose the mirror. So that's why the island was being duplicated. We were pulling the power of V into the mirror, and it was activating it. Do not speak of matters not fit for a tiny mind. This conversation bores me. You bore me. Why did you kill V? He was a false user. Why would we not kill him? Why not kill one of the other gods? When we captured that fool Tarshak, he had been laying an ambush for him. We knew roughly where he would appear and so close to strike as he arrived. Besides, he was only a minor false user. If we had killed Sardoman, then his followers may have banded together against us. Such as an irritation is distracting. V was nobody of importance. Its followers can crush. We can crush without thought. V was greater than you'd imagine, monster. More insults. When I recover, I will enjoy breaking you. I'm done here. Good. 
Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Didn't he walk into this room? Or am I looking at the wrong room? Or did he go out that way? Oh. Sarah Doman will protect me. There's a person over there. Um. Okay. Oh. There's a chest over there. A white knight. There's a dragonkin at the end of this corridor. Sneak by without alerting him. Okay. So we've got one of these jumpy puzzles. A jump to here. Oh, okay. Oh, is this diagonal? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I'm assuming I need this, whatever's in this chest. The Dragonkin key. Okay, cool. Let's make our way back over. I'm assuming those are, yeah, those are pressure pads. Do I, do I need to go into these little... Oh, okay, I see. So we've got... Ah, okay. Okay, and I can push this one so that I could make another way back. How am I to... Oh, I can push multiples. Okay, I didn't realize that I could do that. Okay, let's push that into that here. Um... There we go. Can we push this out of the way? Alright, I made it over here. Uh, I can distract Calabath, but I can go in here first. Oh, there's another chest. Okay, let's grab whatever's in here. There's nothing in the chest. Oh, I already got it. Wear the protection charm. Okay, cool. So now, can I distract Calabath? You have no way to distract the Dragon King. If you draw attention to yourself, the whole quest would be put at risk. For now, you have to sneak and bide your time. Um... So what else? Do I go back now? I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do now. Um... I'm not entirely sure how I would go about changing this part. Put it here. No, I can't I can't go back from here. Uh I can double push it, but that won't work. Where do I go from here? Hmm. Hold on. Uh, apparently defends against dragonkin magic. Is there another room in here that I can go into? Secrets? Anything? No. Okay. Oh, read notes. Tarshak's notes. Oh, I didn't even see these. Day one. I feel- I begin a new journal, for I feel like a new being. My body feels like it was still flush with power, more so than when I crushed the false user. This concerns me slightly, as I surely would have reached my limit by now. Should possibly visit Phalax, assuming his lab is still located in the caves that are now infested with grot worms. We'll find him easily, his foolish but go good route to his master, Karapak. It's been an age since the two fell out over a three-headed monster he built. I am sure I will be able to use them to rally the rest of the Dactyl. With their cunning, the necrocyte's strength, and my new power, I will be un we will be unstoppable. I have questioned Sakirth 
on his discovery, and I have learned the following. When he killed the false user Lucian, he felt the curse diminish. Not fully, but enough for him to be able to perceive a vision. It was only later when Guthix and Bandos fell that he was able to make sense of it. He saw the Son of Joss hanging in the void. As he struck down Lucian, he saw the power had gained from the stone back to that... along a channel that had been built between the two. Not only a one-way link we have always that we have always believed. No, Lucian was already known to the stone. And he was imprinted on it as he, it was imprinted on him. It came to him that the false users were bound to the stone as they were as we are by the curse. They pull power from the stone and leave a little of themselves behind, enough for us to be able to locate them. It is like they have hauled a rope of power from the stone. Each is embedded in their souls. Each time they pull, we suffer. Surely, he thought, for it be not too difficult for us to pull back. Crude necrocytes thinking, to be sure, but it worked. Using the mirror as the focus, it was necessary because the war of aggression by the mindless brutes of our kind. With our large numbers of our kin working in concert, we could not hold back the power. In addition, someone had to become vessel for it. We could not simply pull the power loose and draw it back into the stone. Now that it has been done, I can once again do it again. Or once- what- what has been- what, Now that it has been done once, we can do it again. I will be the vessel for this power, and ascend to godhood of my kind. It is not the right- that power stolen from the stone, gouging the minds of my people, should be stolen in return to fuel my ap apotheosis. But first, we must- we need to unite our people again under my rule. The necrocytes become restless and agitated. I will need to bring them to parley with the dactyl as soon as possible. Then, I will lead our united people back to the abyss, where we will draw power from the gods until they are broken husks. Okay. Oh, whoops. Hold on, was I supposed to read- Gosh, I hate when that happens. Oh, whatever it is. Okay, hold on. I've discovered notes would indicate likely to be heading for the flab of phalanx and other dactyl. It's apparently located in a grotworm lair. Given that Tarshak appears to be mutating rapidly and bursting with power, it makes sense to, for him to be able to deal with this threat before it becomes more powerful. Oh, do I go... Okay. So now I have to go to the grotworm lair. Uh, let me go to the bank first real quick. And I can, I can put away my book of wisdom for now. Okay. So... That worked out in my favor, I guess? So I don't have to come back through here immediately. I can... Uh... Teleport out. Go here, grab some more food. Deposit that. Deposit a couple of these. And then we go to the Grotworm Lair. I don't know exactly where I'm going in here. But we'll figure it out. And there we go. The Grotworm Lair. Right over here. Super useful. Okay. Am I just gonna have to kind of wander my way through here, see if I can't find... Oh, I forgot how menacing the music is in here. All right, I'm gonna... I'm going to go through each floor. Investigate corpse. I'm pretty sure I already did that for something before. Okay, nothing here. And nothing here. What exactly are grot worms? Aren't they parasites to the I think grot worms are parasites to the the queen black dragon. I, I think that's how that works. I I don't quite remember. Watch it be at the very bottom, and I could have just taken that shortcut. It's probably how it is. Yeah, nothing here. Okay. Moving on. Mature grot worm. Yeah, I believe that none of these are actually aggressive to me. So this is not a problem. Well, there's a door. That's not a useful door.
Okay. Oh, hello. This looks important. Climb stairs. Oh. Hello. I'm not a lab, am lab animal we studied. You owe me better than this, Phalax. I really don't. You crashed in here looking like that, telling me of wild tales of draining energy from a god. Now you want me to help you. I think you'll be more of use to in a cage. Maybe if you're lucky, we'll find a way to cure you. You disgust me. Where is your loyalty? Loyalty to what? A freak like you? I should show you loyalty to the reptiles and humans I experimented on. Besides, handing you over to Carapac may soothe the ill feeling between us. If anyone can find out what you are now, it'll be him. You have no idea of the power you're dealing with. Maybe I should let the dragon can handle this by themselves. Who's there? What are you talking about? I hear nothing. You, I hear your filthy ape heartbeat. You did this to me! I didn't do anything. It was you and your friends that drained V of his energy. But I have to say, that is a good reward for you. So, this story was true. Interesting. I wonder... Uh, so now you're interested. This stone-touching animal arrives to sell your conversation. A great phalanx is suddenly roused. Ah, uh, my head. You will disgust me so much. What is this power? I hope it hurts, Tarshak. I hope it hurts as much as you hurt V when you finished him off. Okay. This has gone far enough. Whoa. That hurt. You hurt me, you venomous coward. You, you should have killed him, you human. What? What's happening to him? Can he be killed? This will be your best chance. There was a bane dart laden with poison. If you cannot finish him off now, then I doubt you ever will. You are like the buzzing of flies to me. You are like the buzzing of flies to him. Ah, oh, stab me in the back. Traitor scum, I will kill you all. Ah, so now I'm fighting Tarshak? Okay. Uh, cool. We'll see how this goes. Oh, he doesn't have a level. Oh, crap. Oh, well, that didn't... Okay. I was kind of stuck in place there. Uh, yeah, let's remove that one, because that sticks me in place, and I'm unable to, uh... I'm unable to move out of the way. There we go. Perfect. I can just continue to attack him with my little minions. Oh, and I can get out of the way of that. Technically, I could just run away the whole time, I think. And just let my little minions do my fighting for me. Oh, that was cool. Oh, get out of the way. Awesome. This is a really cool fight. There we go. Go away. Perfect. And yeah, we we've got this. This is no problem. Oh, out of the way. I'm glad that I'm I'm glad that my little buddies can still fight while I'm like running away from him. Which is great. I don't have to be actively fighting the whole time, which is fantastic. Alright, let's back up. But yeah, this is uh pretty easy. Okay, there goes all my my army. Bring them back. And we got this. And 
I can just tank this. Oh, no. Well, let's not tank this. There we go. He's dead. Ooh. <laughs> oh, gross. He's still taking damage. <laughs> oh, what? That's weird. It appears Tarshak has left for us alone for now. I assume he has returned to the s to his sanctum. His sanctum? Where is that? I should ask them for more information. It seems we have survived for now. You're welcome. Do you expect rousing cheer and my eternal gratitude, Stone Toucher? We live and I have not yet attacked you. Is that not thanks enough? Well, since we're in this current position, would you mind answering me a few questions for me? I don't see why not, though I should warn you I have a very little time to waste on trivia. Let's start with the important one. Where is Tarshak gone? You mentioned something about a sanctum. Indeed. He arrived here and demanded I follow him back to cure him there. The poor backward-facing idiot has always fled to comfortable surroundings when threatened. I see he still keeps this pattern, even in his current state. Where is it? Is it... Is it the... Um... In the Brimhaven dungeon? Yeah, he once maintained a study beneath the area your type calls Brimhaven. It's where your throwback metal dragons, if I recall correctly. He imported a fantastic amount of Bainite to study the crafting of weapons, believing they could be used to kill the false users. Are you going to try and kill him? Do not answer. Even I asked you, I know your goal. Uh... What is this place? This is my lab. What is confusing about this concept? I didn't exactly know what to expect when I came here, to be honest. Garot worm. Oh, so he's... I've noticed your kind does not tend to blindly stumble forwards towards danger simply because it exists. What is that word, what is that word for that? It's called being hero. Interesting. We call it out of stupidity. So, why did you build your lab here? Isn't it so, sort of exposed? Not until Toshak attacked. Until now, I had to worry about... All I had to worry about was grot worms. Besides... It's quite close to my teacher's greatest creation. Studying it in situ has given me a great deal of interesting information. What has happened to Tarshak? Ah, oh, an interesting topic. Well, I need to study him more. I have an idea. It is an idle musing at this point. I would still be interested in hearing it. One possibility is very simple. As part of our curse is des designed to safeguard against the abuse of our connection to the stone. Entirely possible that Joss knew of our connection would be used to make ourselves powerful by draining false users. Thus, the cursed reacts by turning them into monsters incapable of using the stolen power. It was a rather boring theory compared to another that I constructed when Cossack mu mutated further. And that is? The stone, at the most basic level, is a repository of power and knowledge. By abusing our connection to the stone, Toshak has opened it all to his knowledge and power and is draining on it whenever he needs. But mortals, even gods, can't contain that power without consequence. So imagine this. When he needs to get more powerful in a fight, he grows more muscle, thicker bones, spines, and barbs. Those biological structures in turn need more blood, need blood and air, nerves and veins. So these two grow. And once again, they, and once grown, they can't simply vanish. His mind too will be ravaged by knowledge. If he thinks he needs something, he will instantly know it. But does he know it? Does a part of his personality simply get written over, or does his brain swell, requiring more mutation? Madness, babbling madness, is both the result and final escape from such torment. All in all, I will need to find some more of my kin in one of the tools. This promises to be a very valuable line of research. Alright, I'm done here. Goodbye, please. Go about your business. Okay, time to go to the Brimhaven dungeon. I am gonna go grab more food. Because it seems like every time we run here, we're going to have another combat scenario. So, I'm going to grab some more. It seems that using uh, necromancy makes these fights pretty simple. I don't, I don't know if it's... I don't know if these are easy fights to begin with, but I can literally just run around and let my little creatures do the damaging for me. Which is fantastic. Yeah, let's grab... Uh, let's deposit some more of these... And let's once again go to the Brimhaven dungeon. Oh, we have, uh, we've fought here a handful of times. Actually, we've come here quite a lot in the, in this last, uh, 30-ish episodes. It's very surprising to me, actually. 
All right. Let's head our way down here. Let's pay for this. What? Something hanging down in front of my face. Okay, fine. So I'm, I guarantee it's that, uh, that spiral staircase that we went down that one other time. There we go. Make our way over here. I still don't know what that is. I don't know if I've ever used that, that tunnel over there. So there must be another hole or something down here in this place. I don't, I don't remember seeing anything else that, hold on, what is that? What is that? Hold on, let me, let me, let me take a look at this. I see a, oh, hold on. Uh, let me turn up this move speed. I see a building over here or something? A, uh, a... Uh, where am I at? It was... Like, over here. But it wasn't that. It was something else. Yeah, what's this? There's a lockpick down here. Huh. What is that? I wonder what that is. Did I just change the- I changed the lighting in the room, too. Interesting. Alright, let's find our way over to whatever it is that we're doing over here. Pretty sure it's down this... Adamant Dragon Dungeon, yeah. There we go. Make our way down here. So, what- where am I going down here? I don't remember there being another another door or anything. I mean, there's these, but those aren't... Ah, it's across that, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe not across this. Where, where am I going in here? Now, dragon fire, great. I don't see any. Oh, damn, that is doing a lot of damage. Um. I mean, maybe it's this mural here? Uh, hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Does it have something to do with those over there? He said something about Bainite. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because we kind of investigated down here before, and I don't remember seeing anything that's super useful for for this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hold on, let me, I'm going to pull up the walkthrough here and take, take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Dragonkin Protection, Apotheosis, Get Brimhaven Dungeon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, entrance where the iron and steel dragons are located into the tunnel on the west wall. Oh, this is not where we need to go. 
I I could have Oh, so it was one of these these doors over here. All right, I see. This is one of these doors. Ones that we kind of discovered before. Right? Ah, this tunnel. Okay. Yeah, because I was trying to figure out how to get into here before. Okay. All right, Tarshak. No more running. You and your friends will pay for what we did to V. First you, then the... Oh. Abomination... Oh. Okay. Well, that's just perfect. Uh... Okay. Am I supposed to mine these Bainite? I can't attack him. Did... Uh, oh! Mine the roof support. Got it. Oh, damn. Oh, use the firebomb to destroy the pillar. Ah, okay. You're on fire. I'm dead. Okay, well, that was, uh... That was... There was a lot going on there. Do I wish to reclaim my items? Yes. Uh, reclaim all items. Yes, it's only 2,000. That's fine. Um, okay. That was a thing. Also, I had tons of damage already going into that, which was not a great idea. All right. Uh, let's just go to Birth Orb, go to the bank, grab some stuff. I think I can swap out my shoes. Did they use up all of their... They use up all of their stuff? Um, I think they're all empty. Again. So we can swap my boots back out for these boots up here. Wear these. And I'm going to grab all of my food. There we go. And I'm going to grab just some more ectoplasm just in case. I have like, I have a lot of it. So where was it? Here. Let's grab those. All right. Let's head back to Karmja. Is this the final part of this quest? Oh, we've only got like two minutes left. Um, I don't think I have enough time to fight that thing at the end of this episode. So like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night. And I will get in here, try to fight that guy again tomorrow. Bye-bye!